Clark. Private members' business, notice number two, for a motion relating to the review of competition policy. Member for Lindsay. I move the motion relating to the review of competition policy in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Yep. Yep. I, I continue. continue. Just continue. Sorry. Please. Okay. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I come to this place with a fundamental belief in small government. I also believe in the importance of free trade and a free and fair market. In fact, I believe it is a fundamental role of government to provide that fair and even playing field, a platform that will allow business to innovate and to flourish. It is for this reason I bring this matter to the House, and I commend the Minister for getting on with the job with a root and branch review of the competition policy. I commend the Minister for getting this policy review underway. Deputy Speaker, the last comprehensive review of competition policy, the Hilmer Review, was in 1993, or more than 20 years ago. And Deputy Speaker, hasn't the economy and hasn't the world changed in that 20 years? This root and branch review delivers on a key election commitment. The review is sure to find ways to identify ways to build and promote the Australian economy, promote investment, growth and jobs creation. The competition review will examine not only the current laws, but in the broader competition framework to increase productivity and efficiency in markets, drive benefits to ease cost of living pressures and to raise the living standards for all Australians. We need competition laws for the 21st century. In the words of Professor Harper, who is leading the review, we need a modern, responsive competition policy fr framework that strengthens our economy today and positions us for the new opportunities and challenges we face in decades to come. Deputy Speaker, good and sound com competition policy should enhance innovation, create new goods and services and develop new ways to do business. Ensuring a fair playing field is good for consumers and business alike. Competition has the power to boost growth, enhance our standards of living and drive productivity. I was raised in a small business family and my dad, who various times throughout his career found new ways to do business, moved into new franchising models, always said competition doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, it makes you find new ways to do business. More than ever, we live in a changing environment and a changing economy. Our economy is most definitely dynamic. In the years since the last review, the FMCG market alone within our major supermarkets, both Coles and Woolies, had a market share of about 40 per cent. Today, their market share is in excess of 80 per cent, and I would expect my good friend, the member for Hughes, will touch on these exact points. These two competitors are changing not only the face of our FMCG environment, but also hardware, fuel, insurance, liquor, pubs, to which I'm sure the member for Reid will also discuss today, and changing the way business and consumer goods right across our economy are being purchased and acquired. Deputy Speaker, also since the last review, we've also seen the advent of the internet, with social media alone, changing the way all consumers communicate, how we do business, and how we acquire goods and services. It has also changed the retail experience for all Australians and shoppers right around the world. The World Internet Project's latest report has found that Australia's online shopping grew by 46 per cent between 2011 and 2013, far outpacing the growth of bricks and mortar retailing. Last year, Australians spent over $14 billion online, on online retail and 6.5 per cent spending in bricks and mortar retail, according to the NAB Online Retail Index. Industry estimates indicate that the growth trend will continue to grow. According to Frost and Sullivan, for example, online retail sales will grow by around 13 per cent in the next five years, or year on year in the next five years. Deputy Speaker, in such a dynamic world and an innovative economy, such changing environment also presents so many challenges for policymakers and regulators. This is why I'm so proud to be, be part of a government that's meeting these demands and that's stepping up to the plate to review our competition policy, to have a competition policy that will be, that will be right into the future. 
Our last competition policy is over 20 years' time. It is time we review our competition policy to continue to provide that fair and even playing field for all Australians. I commend this motion to the House. I thank the Minister. Is there a seconder for the motion? I the motion and reserve my right to do Thank you very much.